My name is Jillian and this is Jillian Camps, Arizona. And today we're doing a live step-by-step -step takedown of a Quest Canopy 10 by 10. Now, this does not just mean that this video is only for Quest canopies. You can use this video to take down your own canopy. A 10 by 10 specifically with slant legs, not with the straight legs, those are different. Anyways, so here we go. The first step you have to do, and I've already started, is you have to bring down the Quest canopy to this level, right? And you do this, there's typically little buttons on the side. Oh, actually these, these back two are still up. So there's little buttons on the side of each leg and you have to press those and then push down on the poles to make it closer to the ground. So we're gonna do that with the back legs. Like so. So you can see here that it's all nice and flat. It's all at your level. It'll make it easier to put away, you know? Uh, the other thing you have to do is you have to pull out the stakes. We only have one stake in the ground, but if you're using the big 10 inch stakes, what you're going to need is you're going to want to get your mallet here. Just hit the stake from the side, from this angle, right? Hit it from the side or kick it. Kick it with your leg, with your shoe, and then pull the stake out, especially if the ground is hard, right? You just want to loosen the stake then it'll come up that easily. Look at how nice that was, huh? Piece of cake. Now we're done with this. I'm gonna set that down there, okay? And now, what you're gonna do, there's a button on the underside of each of the corners. So right here is where this little button is. We're gonna press it, and then the corner will start to fold in on itself, you know? Okay. There's that one done. You can see the buttons up here now. So that one's done. And we're going to do this one. You don't have to do them all, but you're going to eventually do them all, you know. So I'm just pressing the button, loosening the corners. Okay, now, the next step you want to do is if you velcro it, which you should. Didn't you watch my first video? You must Velcro the, the canopy part to the actual stakes here to the actual metal otherwise guess what's gonna happen you're gonna be like one of those ding-dongs who chase after their canopy all through the campground I've seen it happen at least three times don't be like that guy okay be sure to when you're putting up the canopy first of all why don't you go watch my other video it shows you how to put up a quest canopy this one's the takedown video so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go underneath and because now the canopy is down here at our level and what we're going to do is we're going to take off all of the velcro to unvelcro it that way we can pull the canopy up and off the frame right so let's go ahead and do that okay now it's loose if it's windy you want to do this next part pretty quickly otherwise it could you know this is where the danger zone is right it could lift and fly away we don't want that to happen so we're going to do this part quickly because it's a little windy so now what we're going to do for each of the corners you want to take off the velcro if you recall during the initial video i showed you where there was velcro and it sticks to the corner right it sticks to the corner of the frame and so we're just going to rip off each of the corners just lift up on the corner hard now what I like to do is I just like to pull the canopy towards one angle. That way you can fold it easier from one side. Hello! Next, what I like to do is I like to fold the canopy part. That way it doesn't fly away. So we're actually gonna take the canopy, fold it in half lengthwise, like so. If you have a friend, you can do that too, but 
In this video, we're doing it by ourselves. We can do it. It's easy, trust me. Then I fold it in half this way, lengthwise, right? Then you want to kind of fold it in half again, like so. This is how it's going to be wrapped on the inside of the frame. And I'll show you how to do that here in just a second. Next, now you have the frame all exposed. Now there's no danger of it flying off. So what we're going to do is you press all the silver buttons to make sure these are all in. All you do is you lift on one side. Whoops, we forgot a silver button. We forgot one. Let's do these ones. And this one. You have to do all four corners. See how it starts collapsing? Then I just lift the corner to get all three corners up and push in. And that's about good like that. You don't want to push in fully, you know, not yet. Because what we're going to do, I can't see, sorry. What we're going to do is we're going to put the canopy on the inside of that. Let me move this a little so you can see it better. Okay, can you see that better? Okay, cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually put the canopy on the inside of this middle piece here, in between, you know. We're going to layer the canopy right in here. So, the question is, how did you fold it, right? Did you fold it into a square that looks like this? It's kind of a rectangular shape. If so, that means you can simply wrap it in the middle part. Makes it a lot easier. And that's what we're going to do now. We're going to wrap it in the center, around the center piece. All right? Like so. Very carefully. All right. Cool. Like so. And not too tight. We don't want to make it too tight. And then, that's it. And you can see it goes down to here. And that's okay. We want it to expand the whole, the whole area, right? We'll just have to make sure now when you take it out the next time, you'll just have to make sure to pull that out first before you put up the quest canopy, right? The canopy. So then what we do is we simply squish it, squish it in so it's all together. See? Like that. So the canopy is in it down here and now it's all folded in together, you know? Now we're almost done. What I like to do is I put it into the bag next. So what we're going to do is you have a bag like this. Typically it's got a little opening with a zipper on it. So you unzip it. And then what we do is we just kind of feed it over the top here. I like to do it so that the feet are out first. You know what I mean? Makes it easier to unbox this way. This is my preferred method. Listen, if you want to box it the other way, that's your prerogative. You can go ahead and do it however way you want. The other thing is a lot of times it's hard to get started because the Velcro is on this side, right? So I just like to keep the bag kind of upright if you can. And then pull it down, pull the bag down over the legs and over. And also you may need to tuck in the canopy. It may be kind of tight in some places. That's why we wanted to make sure that the canopy was in fully before we Hold it down over it, and then we pull it down all the way to the bottom, like that. And then what we're going to do is I flip it over typically in this place. So I flip it over now, like so, like that. You're going to have some rocks in your bag and that's okay. I have rocks in it all the time, you know. And then for me, the zipper comes halfway to these little black, you know, plastic things but it's up to you how you want to pack it for me it's easier to pack this way I just make sure that the zipper is tight against those plastic pieces then you simply flip the little foot bag over then you can zip it closed easily after you get everything tight <laughs> see you can zip it closed and that's it you did it nice huh they're in a beautiful sunset. Sorry, my camera's making a, a 
a, a huge shadow here, but you get the picture? We did it. We put away a 10 by 10 canopy and guess how long it took? It took us 10 minutes by ourselves. So if I can do it, listen, you can too. Thank you so much for watching this Jillian Cantz Arizona video. Feel free to hit that like button if you like this content and you want to see more like it. Also, if you're not currently following me and you want to follow me around, feel free to hit that subscribe button below. Or you can like my page on Facebook or on Instagram. That's at Jillian Camps Arizona. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye now. Bye-bye.